Welcome to Soltron. This is the video review for Super Cops Mini Force Captain Commander. Okay, let's get a look at his box. He's got really great artwork. It's a little bit exaggerated. He doesn't quite look like that um, in his proportions. It looks this is pretty this is a pretty close representation. Yeah, and then it shows you all the play features. Nothing, nothing too special going on there. And then his instructions are, of course, your basic newsprint. Nothing really cool there. This guy actually comes with a sticker sheet, which is kind of surprising. So this is for the trailer, I think. Here's a size comparison with all my various cops robots. And then here he is compared with um, some other trailer combining robots that I have. That's how big he is. These guys all combine with their trailers. This guy doesn't even combine and he's that big. So let's get a 360 look at this guy. I wouldn't say that he has bad proportions. He's blocky. Um, but the thing that really bothers me is just his legs are very, very long compared to the rest of his body. It's really distracting. But overall, I would say his proportions are pretty good. Like these shoulder joints are pretty ugly just being visible right there. And then these panels really hurt his overall look too. I would say for like overall robot design, he's kind of generic looking. He does look a little bit like a KO robot. I would say he's kind of like a seven. He's like above average. He's not terrible looking. And if we get a good look at his head sculpt, you do see that he does have metallic blue eyes. So that looks pretty good. They It does, it does make his head sculpt pop, especially since there's so much black on it. And then he's got kind of like, it almost looks like a goatee happening down here. But yeah, really good head sculpt. Sculpt. It looks a lot like the other cops' head sculpts. Like if we bring over Titan and Patrol Cop, all of these head sculpts kind of like blend together. They look very similar to each other. Okay, he does have a couple of accessories. He does have this gun which looks pretty good in hand it's very tight in his hand i don't really really want to put it all the way in his fist because it's actually very difficult to get in and remove it'd probably look better if it could go all the way down so great looking blaster and then it's it's got a weird offset handle so it kind of looks the same in both hands it doesn't make that much difference but it's probably meant to be in this hand and this becomes the smokestacks for the vehicle mode. It's not very convincing looking, but at least it's integrated. And then his other accessory, which is really dumb, is this huge chunk on his back. So yes, this guy does have parts forming. It is important. It does have to be. Um, you do need this piece for his vehicle mode. Otherwise, he's very incomplete. He actually looks kind of good without it on his back. And all this does is it becomes the key for his trailer. So it's very like Tobot kind of gimmick. You press this button and then the key pops out, which is uh, very dumb. But I guess if you're a kid and you want to drive a car, I guess that's cool that you get this key fob. But yeah, it's really dumb. Um, it could have at least become a shield, even though that would have also been pretty dumb. It's It's just... A huge piece of plastic that does almost nothing that's kind of pointless so yeah let's go ahead and look at his his articulation so he does have a ball joint neck it's very stiff this is a transformation joint keeps popping up but yeah he's got a very stiff neck he's got fully rotating hard ratchet shoulder and then he's also got bicep swivels very nice so it's great that these robots are finally getting bicep swivel. And then he's got an elbow joint exactly 90 degrees. And then he's got his wrist articulation for transformation. And then um, he does have hard ratchet in the waist, also very nice. And then a, a joint, a couple of joints I really like are he's got these butterfly joints, which really like change his look a little bit. It's, uh, yeah, these bicep swivels are way too tight. But yeah, this kind of changes the way he looks. It doesn't quite look right, um, but it hides these ugly joints. And then they also go all the way back. So really useful 
very nice butterfly joints that like when he has his gun in hand this butterfly joint looks really cool with him like having his shoulder forward like he's gonna charge into somebody like that looks really cool i like that look a lot so really great on that articulation and then uh it kind of starts falling apart down here we get his universal joints here i guess oh actually another problem is his shoulder joints the outward is only that much which is almost nothing that's like two clicks outward that's that's kind of poorly designed they could have made it so that this would move out of the way or sh shift or something i keep thinking i'm like missing something where this like opens up and will give him more shoulder out but it i don't think i am and then this is here's another dumb design here is this panel clips into place like this i'm guessing just so he can get an outward kick so you can get a full outward splits but that's that's all this panel does and it looks very ugly when you detach it so it's it's incredibly pointless i i'm pretty sure that's the only purpose of this whole joint so a lot of extra engineering for nothing especially considering they could have put a thigh cut here so he could at least rotate his thighs um, if you're going to do this so this detaches, at least give him a thigh rotation. So he has no thigh rotation, which is really disappointing because these guys usually almost have it. And then he does have double jointed knees. Um, this is not really for transformation. It's just a nice thing they threw in. Um, but his, no his knees are a little bit awkward. And then you get your toe point just for transformation. So that's all for his articulation. So he is a little bit old fashioned in some ways. And then, yeah, he does a weird leaning thing if you don't do his knees correctly. And because they're double jointed, it, it can be awkward to get him in the right pose. But yeah, um, overall, pretty good articulation. I think the only thing I really miss is the thigh swivel. Um, everything else I think I can live without that he's missing. It's not that big a deal. But yeah, giant figure. Um, he doesn't really scale with anybody. I guess he pretty much scales with these guys who are also just like way too massive for their own good. I kind of like that he scales with, um, I think, what is his name? Ghost Chaser? Yeah, Ghost Chaser. I like that he scales with this dog because it looks like he could maybe be like a canine cop. I kind of like how they go together. Um, this guy, he's just kind of out of luck. He doesn't really, I really like his look, but he's just too big for anything. And this is really dumb, but you can kind of do this thing where he rides Ghost Chaser. Um, I guess if Ghost Chaser could turn into a motorcycle, this would actually be very cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. This, this is kind of just cool to me, even though it looks really stupid. And I guess before I transform him, I have to talk about his other accessory, which is this enormous box. So this huge trailer, which is... Uh, just like almost a direct ripoff of Optimus Prime's G1 trailer. Like I don't, it, it's so incredibly similar. Um, it's not meant to be put up and down like this, which I think is a huge missed opportunity because this would make a really cool hanger, but it just, it just like, this won't sit flat. They just didn't design it this way, which was kind of dumb. Why didn't, like, it's such a obvious thing to do. Is just make a hanger bay, especially because it's got all these like little repair arms, which are on ball joints, and um, they're also hinged. It's I know it's hard to see because like it's black, but you got like a welding arm to do like spot welding, and then you get like pincher arms, like grabby arms to like put pieces back together. Yeah, I just don't understand why would you not make this a cool repair bay that robots can just like come to and hang out in here's like how the repair bay would scale with the smaller head robots then here's the trailer base like correctly deployed it's got a ramp which is very nice um of course very g1 style optimus prime uh your captain commander can hang out in here but it's very small for him and he's just going to be knocking things over but 
If he's damaged, he could also lay down in here and have a little rest. And then like your head robots, I think this is more for like the head robot scale, which is cool. So they have like their cool little base and then we'll use, oh, we'll use basically medic bot here. So these were the stands that come with the head robots, right? And they usually have a neck joint here, but I unscrewed them for customs. But anyway, this pegs into this. And then you basically just plop these down in their different recessed areas, which is which feels pretty nice because they don't like wiggle around or anything. So they they sit in there very nice. And then you can fit all nine head robots in here. And here it is with Patrol Cop 2. Um, I don't know, it's kind of pointless. It's just a container that holds all these head robots. Uh, they do also have like these little consoles which are about human sized. So I guess if you had like any little human, maybe like Diaclone figures, they could hang out in this base too. But yeah, you got a really massive base. It's very high off the ground, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I guess here's like just or Titan Justice, Justice Titan. And then here's like his vehicle mode. So you could see how that fits in there. Just, yeah, a really enormous trailer can fit a lot of deluxe vehicles. You got plenty of space for activities. Um, yeah, and these gantry arms, can they, they can be unpegged and put in different spots to make it a little bit more dynamic but kind of a missed opportunity there's just not a lot going on with this trailer it is really just a big empty box if you like play sets maybe this would be more fun but it's it just kind of doesn't do anything and then you can see what it looks like when it's closed up so basically the head robots still fit in there no problem so you can you can store three head robots in there you can store a couple of leg robots in there you can store pretty much ghost chaser does fit in here it's kind of awkward closing it up you have to have it in the right place but yeah he fits close enough all right and i guess while we're here let's transform the trailer so it's got these red locks at the top, so you're just going to go ahead and fold it up. Same as G1 Optimus Prime, it's going to sandwich together for the most part. I don't know what's what's up with mine, it always pops apart, but that's fine, because then you're going to take your key fob and pop that out, and then you're going to use that to rotate these dials to the locked position, which will hold it closed so it'll stop popping open like that if you lose the key or whatever you can just hand turn it which is what these little knobs are for probably so that's not that's not too difficult either and then you get pretty good looking trailer you can see the ramps open and it's always cool to like look inside of that oh it's all like misaligned what Okay, now it's aligned correctly. So I, it was popping open because I this was actually all crooked. So I actually transformed it wrong. All right, and there you go, like his battle trailer. It's kind of cool because it's got these big shield pieces on the side, which are to help support it in the other mode. Um, what's not cool about these shield pieces is you can't get much play value out of them because I guess, I guess for the head robots, they kind of give good cover for these robots. But they're terrible at covering this guy. They can cover like his thigh. So not gonna give him not gonna give him a lot of cover, but I guess he could just use the whole trailer for cover and the little guys can just hide behind these. So I guess um that's kind of a some more play value for you. Finish transforming this guy, you're just gonna of course fold these panels in. Close up the back, and there you have. I, I mean, these these details are really lovely. Like, just that gold really gleams. Just excellent cold, um, chrome gold. And then you're gonna fold these these up to get it ready for it to be pulled by the semi mode. To transform this guy, he is really very similar to the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime, especially that white Optimus Prime back then. Um, so his transformation is almost the same thing, except for he's got all these extra panels. 
So you're going to go ahead and open these panels up and get these ready. And then this will be the front panel. You don't need to deal with that right now. And you can just fold up his fists. And then you're going to use those nice butterfly joints. Actually, let's get his legs ready. So you're going to kick his legs all the way forward. His shins do open up. So that's a nice little trick. Instead of having his feet just hang off the back like Optimus Prime likes to do all the time, these will actually form the back of the truck. And then his heels become the trailer lights. So that's actually a very nice touch. And this will actually clean up his truck mode a little bit and make it more... Uh, more interesting to look at from the back instead of just looking at a bunch of robot parts. And then you can open up his chest and fold his head in. And then you just close that back up. And then you're just going to sandwich. Or actually, you're just going to use the butterfly joint and that's going to face all the way front. And then you do have to rotate his biceps, which is not much fun. Uh, actually, I did this a little out of order. Okay, you do have to have this closed up a little bit. And then you can open it up. And it will form the side of the semi. And then this clip is kind of a pain because it has to clip into here. And you kind of just have to flex things around a little bit to get it where you want. And then you just clip that in. And you close that up. And then, of course, you're just going to finish that by closing up the front of the cab. And there you have his semi and there you have the other side is still robot mode okay so i got the other side taken care of and then here is his robot mode it seems like these are splaying out a little bit but anyway you're going to go ahead and take the key fob fold that in and you're going to see that just clips here and here it's got a couple it's got a lot of tabs to help hold it in place and that kind of helps lock everything together then you got this big ugly robot mode here but you can take care of that too by using these this gun which is just going to clip into these tabs here and then it's also going to peg into these panels right here more or less okay and there you go that cleans that up and then you have at the end you do have a pretty clean semi mode with no extra little bits so very nice clean semi you go ahead and hitch using this peg right here just hitches into a hole that's right here and you get a semi that can turn 90 degrees and can pull the trailer pretty much everywhere so you got this gigantic semi which i know i'm harping on this a lot scales pretty well with Ghost Chaser. It's very terribly with deluxe vehicles. He is like just way out of scale, but that's okay. Looks like he could actually be friends with Captain Police because they're all about the same scale and just way too large for everything else. Okay, he does have one more thing you can do, so you can just go ahead and drive Justice Titan's legs into the trailer. You can see this ramp is just too steep for its own good, but just shove them in, go ahead and close that up. And then there is a red trailer hitch back here, which can deploy. Okay, and then you pull forward a bit, and then you get number three. Yeah, you get component number three of Justice Titan. You hitch him onto the back here. It's got like a tiny little hole right here, which will allow you to hitch that back here. He doesn't want to turn very much, but he's technically connected. And then you're going to take number one, and he's just going to fly up here somehow. I'm, I'm not sure. He's just going to jump up here, and he's going to be on top. Technically, number two could just like pick him up and drop him here. He doesn't seem to have a mechanism to do that. Oh, by the way, there is like a weird little divot here. I don't know what that's for. Uh, seem, maybe it does nothing. Maybe it's just to release air. But anyway, number two will fly up and he'll land there. And there you go. Here you have the whole mess, which is actually kind of cool. I kind of like it, to be honest. Um, it's a lot. It takes up a massive amount of space. 
I don't know if I could recommend this thing. It's really fun. It's got a huge box, but it's basically just a storage box for your other Mini Force figures. That's about all he does, really. Th this truck is nothing special. He's pretty generic looking. Uh, the plastic, of course, is a 10 out of 10. It's always very strong, powerful plastic. Um, I just don't know if you should, if people should buy this thing. It's just huge. It takes up so much space. I guess it's really fun to play with if you're a kid and you want a base mode. But otherwise, you should definitely avoid this thing. Uh, I got it, I think this one at G Market too after shipping was probably 120 bucks, which is a really good deal for such a huge toy. The way I kind of actually like to think about this is basically this guy is like your carrier zord. So he's like the Power Rangers carrier robot that carries the other robots. And this guy, of course, is going to be like your season combiner. He's your main Megazord of the season. And this guy just like carries him around pretty much. It would have been cool if this could combine with the other robot. That would have really made its play value um, worth the price and the importing and the hassle of owning something so huge. But um, especially because this guy is so simple, they I think they could have worked it in where he could have came apart and became, and become armor for the Justice Titan. That would have been epic. But anyway, yeah, um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.